Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be unboxing a koala crate and I'm excited to open this with you. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings, which is what we're doing today, to give you curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's get into this crate. So first of all, I've been talking for a while and so my throat is like, my voice is going away. We'll see, we'll see if it lasts through all this, but this month's koala crate is camping. Sorry, sometimes this yellow is so hard to see. It says make your own bear backpack and create a campfire to cook up tasty camping treats. Delicious. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. I've been wanting to do like a camping unit for homeschool for a while. I just haven't actually like sat down and planned it. And we have a fire pit in our backyard, so I just thought it'd be fun to do some mills and things like that that you could cook around the campfire or in the fire. So maybe we'll get to it eventually, but this is what it looks like when you open this crate and it looks super cute. So this is gonna fold out and have our activities. Usually there's three. So ooh, we're gonna hit ourselves. So we have a campfire, campfire cookout. So it has like cloth marshmallows it looks like. Don't actually eat those. And then a bear backpack. So that's what we're gonna do. And then it will tell you here how messy they are, how much help the kids need and things like that. And then we have our little magazine for camping. And they, I wonder if they'll have a fun like camping treat in here. Maybe, we'll see. I don't know, I don't see anything right off the bat. Oh, it like, helps you make a chair tent though, so that's super fun. <laughs> and then we have, this is our bear backpack. <laughs> this is cute, so this'll be fun, like just little, this'll fit her really well too. I like how it's for a little person. It's so hard to find backpacks that fit really well. And then I think it will fold over like that. And we have tissue paper. This is probably for our little fire. And then a bunch of foam. Oh, I think this is a hot dog <laughs> and marshmallows, graham crackers. So these are all, oh, and these are probably our ketchup and mustard. So that'll be fun, like little imaginative play thing going on. So they can do that. And then this I think is part of our fire pit, maybe. I'm not sure. And then our bear. <laughs> I think these are all for our bear and a stick because you know you have to have a stick this is probably for roasting all of our things over our fire and then this is a little tea light i think this goes inside the fire pit and that's what's in this crate so i'm excited this is just gonna be fun i loved camping when i was younger and obviously we're not really going camping right here but it'll still it'll still be a fun thing so i'm gonna let her get at it and we will let you know how it goes Okay, so Lydia finished doing the koala crate. Did you have a fun time? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're rocking the crazy, messy hair bun today. Okay, so do you wanna show them? <laughs> so we have everything in her cute little bear backpack. <laughs> she has the candle. She has it in the little pocket, and then we have some things in this little pocket. <laughs> And so I just think this backpack is so adorable and she put it on and it's super cute. It fits her just perfect. So I feel like it'd be good too for younger kids cause she's four, she just barely turned four. And so I think if you have just older kids though and you're like, should we get the koala crate or not? I don't know if this backpack will fit them <laughs> because it just fits her just perfectly. So this is her little fire she built. Huh, did you like building the fire? Yeah. She loved it, seeing it in the dark. As soon as she finished building it, and we put the little, cause it comes with a little tea candle, a tea light. She's like, we have to go see it in the dark, mom. So we did, we went into the basement and saw it in the dark, huh? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So the thing with this, let's hold it up so they can see. Um, you put these on with the dowel that they give you and it's kind of, I don't know if you ever did the art projects or you do them with your kids right now, but 
I remember art projects where you'd take the little tissue paper and you twist it around a pencil and you dip it in glue and then you'd make a picture out of it. That's basically what you're doing here, except this little stand that it comes on is very sticky. So you pull the paper off and you have it very sticky. And then you take the dowel and push it into the tissue paper and stick it on there. And this was kind of hard for you to do, huh? <laughs> yeah, you're sliding down. You're gonna fall on the floor. And so this part, she did some of them, but then I helped her as well. She just kind of got a little frustrated. The fine motor skills for it were not quite there. I think this show is about medium help, which I feel like it needed more than medium help for her, but maybe some kids would be okay doing it or they'd actually enjoy doing it, but she just was getting a little frustrated with it and wanted me to finish it. So this is a cute little fire and you put the tea light there. And then what else do we have in here? <laughs> it's the magical bag. So here's the dowel. You keep it because you're using it for something else. Do you want to show them? You hold that. And then what do we put on that? What do we put on the dowel? What's this? Marshmallow. A marshmallow. She talks so much in normal life and then she gets in here and she's shy. Okay, hold it up. So you can use this to burn it over your fire. Well, hope, I don't know if you want them burned, but so you can do that. And then it gives you the graham crackers. So you have two of these, which I just thought this was super cute, like fun, imaginative play. And so you get two graham crackers and well, I can't pick them up and some chocolate. So you can put the marshmallow in between, have your s'more. And then it also gives you a hot dog. So she's trying to put the hot dog on. It gives you two marshmallows. So if you just want to play with those. So there's the hot dog. And then you have the bun for the hot dog that you can put it on. And then what are these? Mustard. Mustard and, and, ketchup. and ketchup. So you can put those on and have your little hot dog. So I just thought that was super adorable. So that one was more of like imaginative play. She didn't really put anything together for this. It was just being able to play with it. So the fireplace, fireplace, fire pit, I don't know. This little fire thing <laughs> probably took the longest for us, but these crafts were all fairly quick this month. Some of them usually take a little bit longer, but these ones were quick, especially since there wasn't anything messy. We didn't have to let anything dry or anything. Are you a unicorn or what? And so this probably took the longest. And then these ones was just the stickers. I will say that the ears are probably the hardest because this is a sticker that's attached in the middle and you fold it in half and trying to line it up because you put it on the bag at the top and then lining it up. And this is sticky stuff. So once it starts to stick together, it's really hard to get undone. So I did one ear to show her and then I helped her with the second one, but it was still it's still a little bit tricky for little fingers to do. And I think that was it. Are you playing with the fire? And so on all of them, it said low messiness, which was completely true. And the camping cookout, which is what all these things are, said, my kids are going a little loud in the background, sorry about that. But it says very low grown up involvement, which was, which was true for that. And the others were, the other two were medium. But like I said, I think the fire, the campfire, needed more help but maybe some kids will be better at it than others so we had a lot of fun huh mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah and they were excited my oldest who is nine was like wait that's the campfire where's the real campfire i'm like do you think they're gonna set us a real campfire for a four-year-old anyways it was just really funny that he was expecting it to be he's like that's the campfire <laughs> But I thought it was cool. I thought the whole thing was very innovative and I love this bear backpack. It is so cute. And her dad pretended like it was a real bear and pretended to throw you out the door, huh? Cause he was scared of the bear. So it was a lot of fun. I think this is super cute and something that she can use. Cause sometimes we get crafts in this that you can't easily keep using. It's stuff that just wears down fast. But I feel like this is something that could be used for quite a while and she'll just have fun with it, putting all of her stuff in it. So we had a fun time and we're looking forward to next month. So if you enjoyed seeing this crate, please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time.